There's a wide world of espresso-based drinks, the names of which could probably fill a short book. But in reality, when you break them down, they're actually all pretty simple. Each of course contains espresso, and includes one of two other options, milk or water. And in this case, we're talking about the latter, more specifically the Americano, but also by association, the Long Black. Both of which are cafe staples around the world, even though they have different names, different histories, and arguably different methods of preparation, they aren't all that different in the cup, which is part of the reason why I'm putting them together in this video. The other reason is to trigger the coffee debate lords who desperately want to argue the semantics around coffee drinks. Trust me, they're out there. And I don't mean to scare you, but one may even be in your house right now. If you look up how to make an Americano or a Long Black, there really isn't a lot of consensus out there. In some places, it'll say espresso first is an Americano and water first is a Long Black. And there are some real out-of-the-box thinkers who go for espresso in the middle. Yet, unsurprisingly, if you look long enough, or even not that long at all, you'll find plenty of opinions to the contrary. Even when polling my followers on Instagram, the split was about 50-50. Still not convinced? Well, even the undisputed king of coffee YouTube and coffee knowledge, James Hoffman, makes his Americano with the water first. Which, for better or worse, is the last word in most debates on r slash coffee. Of course, the other difference in the debate, and from what I've seen online, is the drink size, with Long Blacks leaning smaller and Americanos bigger. But I'd personally argue that size is more or less just a function of personal preference, determining how much coffee flavor you want to taste, and nothing more. And let's be honest, the two are barely indistinguishable from one another, beyond the fact that one has intact crema, and the other not so much. In the end, in my opinion, what goes in first or how big it is really doesn't make a difference and it doesn't really make it a different drink. Personally, I prefer the term Long Black, as it just makes more sense to me logically. I know, that's very Virgo of me. Of course, you can call it whatever you want, and make it however you want, but can we just try and fight that urge to want to convince everyone else to do the same? Maybe it's the holiday spirit in me right now, I don't know, just a thought. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up and pass the question on to you. Espresso and water. Should we just split the difference and call it Watesso or a spotter? What do you call it? How do you make it? Is this a debate you've had before? One you want to continue? Let me know your answers to those questions and drop any others you may have in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to my December Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, Christopher, Squeegee Rowe, Brian, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Samantha, Claire, Stephen, Alexis, Josh B, James K, Bound Coffee, Josh, Horace, and Corey C. Curry, Jeff Roth, Joey N, Thomas B, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt, Ray, Gumby, Zachary V, Home Barista Coach, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Tyler M, Barista Michael, Matthew C, JRC, Arthur L, Absolute, Stephen G, Keefe, Jose, Joseph M, Ed T, Techcom Advisors, Keith M, Happy Camper, and James B. And of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.